Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is the video guide series for the RC streamer where we will be showing you how you could configure the RC streamer to work in your audio system. This particular video is about configuring the RC streamer to work with Rune Core. This is what we think most of the user will be using the RC streamer in their system with Rune Core. The first thing you will need to do is to apply power to the unit. I have a power cord with me, and this unit comes with a voltage selector at the back of the, uh, at the bottom of the unit, where you need to select the correct voltage to use in your country. When we ship the unit to you, we already have the voltage selector switch configured to use in your country. Just in case you are in doubt, you may always check the voltage selector at the bottom of the unit to make sure it is selected to the country um, that you are residing in. Alright, without further ado, apply the power to the unit and I'll show you once the power is applied, the front panel standby LED will turn on. This tells us that the RC streamer has the AC power supplied to the unit and it is currently in standby mode. To turn on the unit, hit on the standby button once and you will notice that the front panel LED lights up from the left to the right it is a startup sequence of the RC streamer. It takes about 3 to 5 seconds to start up. Once it is fully started up, the last selector input, which was Rune, will, the LED will turn on. At this point in time, the unit is not ready to use because we have not had the RJ45 network cable plugged into the unit. Yes, this unit needs to be hardwired to the network in order for the network to detect the RC streamer. So there's this RJ45 network port at the back of the unit. You have to connect the home network Ethernet cable to the unit before you could use the RC streamer in your system. As soon as the Ethernet cable is connected to the back of the unit, the router should assign an IP address to the unit and it should be detectable in the home network. But this is all done in the background. If you do not have networking knowledge, please do not be worried. This is done automatically by the router and the streamer itself. Right, I wanted to show you the front panel status um, before I plug in the cable. Um, this was because there's a net LED, a uh, net indication on the front panel to tell us that whether the unit is connected to the network or not. Currently, the net LED is off is because the network cable is unplugged. As soon as I plug in the network cable to the unit, the net LED will turn on shortly after. You notice the net LED turn on and the room is selected. Just in case uh, the unit the input selection was not at Rune. You may use the front panel button, the source button, to select the desired input source. In this particular unit, we wanted to show you how to configure the RC streamer to work with Rune Core. So toggle this button. As you toggle the source button, the source LED turn on and off, and leave the LED turn on at Rune. So this will set the RC streamer to work as a Rune endpoint. Why I say Rune endpoint is because currently Rune ready is still being certified. This RC streamer works as a Rune bridge. Right, as if you have the Rune core turned on and connected to the same network, you may use an, uh, a, a smart devices like the tablet or iPad or even your iPhone to browse the uh, Rune, Rune, yes, a Rune remote to look at how the RC streamer is detected in the network. So I'm going to use a pointer here, launch Rune um, software on the iPad or even a computer. Go to this menu here. In setting, we should be able to find an audio setting under setting, audio. So this allows us to set up the Rune call uh, as to use which device to output the data stream from Rune call to the device. So as we have the RC selected as Rune um, input, we'll be able to see a Dina Frips Rune device under this audio setting of the Rune remote or the Rune call. 
So enable the device and give it a meaningful name. Currently the device is unnamed. You can give it a meaningful name if you if I may. I'll just say this is RC streamer A R C E. Right. Done. And there are some configuration that you can do to this this device. It's under device setup. Hit on, hit on this setting button, device setup, and you will be able to see some setting here pop up. Sorry, this, this little pen is not very sensitive. It has been a while since I used this tablet. Right, there are some settings here. We'll post the, uh, the guide on what are the settings that we recommend on the website. So you don't really have to look at this video to, to, to figure out what we do to the setup. Right, as soon as uh, you are happy with the set setting, uh, click on save button and this thing will close. Just in case you have not done any setting here, you have, you have to click on the cancel button to close these windows. Now, the rune call detected the RC streamer in the same network and this RC streamer is named as RC in the rune call. You may, you may select this as an output device of the rune call where the rune call will stream music through RC to the DAC that connected to the DAC. Um, I'm going to show you how to connect the RC streamer to a Dina Fripps Aries 12-1 DAC and for simplicity, I'm going to use a coaxial cable instead of I2S for now. I know many of you want to use I2S but I2S is kind of uh, more complex and I want to keep this video as simple as possible. So this is the Aries 12-1. Uh, as we, When we release this Aries 12-1, uh, we, we have this full aluminum casing uh, implemented in the Aries 12-1. It's really because uh, we want to have the uniform look of the RC streamer as well as the Aries 12-1. So without further ado, connect the power cord to this Aries 12-1. Uh, the analogy is the same. As soon as the power is applied to the deck, the standby LED turn on and hit on the standby button once to turn on the unit. So now, once the, once the Aries 12 deck is turned on, you have to select the desired input to use. Right, um, as mentioned just now, I'll be using coaxial connection between the RC streamer as well as the um, Aries 12 dash 1 deck. Simply connect uh, our coaxial cable from the streamer to the deck. Right. I wish I can show you the connection at the back, but it's kind of simple. I do not want to twist this thing around. So the coaxial cable is connected from the RC streamer to the deck. And don't forget to connect the analog output cable from the Aries 12 to the preamp or to the integrated amplifier that you have. This allows the, the deck to output analog signal to the next um, line stage or integrated amplifier that you have. Right, before I forget, I should choose coaxial input, coaxial LED light up. If I hit on the button to play music on my computer or on my tablet, I think for simplicity, I will just, just be showing you how to play music from the RC to the deck. Hang on a second. by using coaxial input. Right, click on this menu button on Rune Remote and go to the album and find one of the albums that you like. Again, this thing is not very sensitive. Adele, it will play some music. So rolling in the dip. As soon as I hit this button and we should be able to help hear some music playing uh, from the loudspeaker. Let me just turn on the volume. Right, this is how you can configure the RC streamer and the Irish 12 DAC by using Rune Call. Right, let me just pause the video. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to configure the I2S between the RC streamer and the Irish 12 1. I'll end this video right now and take another video right after, and I'll see you real soon. Bye bye.